to Glam Life by Meg, where I teach you how to efficiently and glamorously live your very best life. Say hi in the comments if you're new here. It's nice to virtually meet you. Today we are going to talk about what's in my carry-on bag. I love this bag. This is the Lug Puddle Jumper. I have it in a special edition pattern. I got it a while ago. Love it. You should be traveling with it. End of story. What I love about this is that I use this as my personal item. It has a trolley sleeve on the back so that I can easily put this right over my wheeled carry-on and I don't have anything on my back. When I'm running through the airport, I can just push it right along. So I actually just got to where I am. So let's see how it worked out for me. What worked? What do I need to fix for next time when I'm on my way back? Let's figure it out. Starting here, hair tie and a binder clip. Those need to be easily accessible at all times. And the black pen. Always have to have that. You never know when you have to fill something out and it needs to be right there. In this pocket, I usually keep a phone. Oh sis, there's a lot in here. Okay, portable charger, which this has four full battery charges on it. And a cord, obviously you need the cord to charge it. Pepto-Bismol because it was rough. A tie to go pen because I swear if I don't have it, I spill something. And then my phone goes in this pocket as well. This is where I keep my headphones. I have Beats, they came free with my laptop and that's what I use. So they go in here. My wallet, which this will be updated soon. I'm very excited. More details to come. A separate change purse. So it looks like throughout my travels, a clip ended up in the bottom. A, that's weird. A lip balm ended up in the bottom. All of my amazing Purell wipes. This is how I make friends on the plane because currently it is flu season. I wipe down everything. I get on the plane. I open one of these up, wipe down my seat. If I'm there first, I will wipe down the seats of the people next to me, all the tray tables, the air vent controls. I'm trying to help you guys out too. Carry these. Or a pack of the Clorox ones. I sometimes do that too. This is just what I have right now. Oh, also, earplugs. I just keep a bunch of little earplugs in this little change purse. We have these two pockets here. So they have front pockets, which on this side I have my C-bands which help with nausea because I get seasick. You know, I get motion sickness on the plane and in the car and everywhere. So pop these on my wrists and take a little Tylenol and I'm usually pretty good. Or Pepto, obviously, as you saw previously. And then in here, in the pocket behind it, this is where I keep most of the lip balm and lip colors. I keep a few liners because you gotta stay fresh and a sleeping mask i don't sleep on a plane if i'm traveling alone just for safety reasons i don't trust anybody a couple lip balms obviously i'm gonna put this back where it goes but i like to have those things easily accessible and on this side i have breath spray because i don't chew gum i don't like it i don't like any part of it but i like to keep my breath fresh after a long travel day you need it i also keep purell and <laughs> what do you know or Purell wipes. I usually have to connect at least once, so that means usually a second plane. <coughs> those are those two pockets. This pocket in the front is a nice little catch-all for a lot of the other things that I might need easily. A Fit Crunch bar. These are my actual favorite protein bars. Come at me, I love them. Tissues, I have a couple packets of tea. That way you can just get the hot water and then you can bring the tea that you like. Just have them bring you a cup of hot water and you're good to go. I also do this with oatmeal, which I'll probably have in here somewhere. Same thing, free food on the plane. Q-tips, this is great for cleaning out your nose and ears and eyes and everything nasty. Then I have floss picks, cause you have to eat, it's a long travel day, gotta have these. I keep wipes, cause you never know when things get funky. There is a spot for identification on the back. Let's see if you guys can see this, sorry, the bag's kinda heavy. This pocket is great for wallets. I like to keep my wallet in here if it fits, if it's the right size, I'll keep it in here because it's just a little bit closer to me. You know, this is the case for my sunglasses, which are currently not in here because since I've gotten here, I needed to use them. So I just popped it right back here. In here, this section, I unzip it and I will either put shoes or my makeup bag. If you would like to see my what's in my makeup bag video, I will link it right here. It matches this too. Super cool. In this side pocket, I keep my blue light glasses because often, man, if you would stop. I keep my blue light glasses here because I often do work on the plane and like to, again, have these easily accessible. I also on the side keep the tripod and the little baby selfie ring light that I'm using to film this video right now. I usually keep those in the side just in case 
something inspires me and I need to film it right then. Pretty standard, I keep a water bottle on this side and I highly, highly, come in. I always like to bring at least one water bottle with me. I bring an empty one, take it through TSA, and then I fill it up when I'm done. Let's get into it. So in here, this is my bullet journal iPad and all that stuff. You'll be able to see that in this video right here. This is what I keep all my pens and stuff in, which also is in that video that's linked right up here. My oatmeal. So this is when I ask on the plane for a cup of hot water and then I can just pour that in, do my thing, and then I have a meal on the plane, especially if it's a long flight and they're trying to charge you for some mediocre food. Honestly, these are super great. I know they're nature system, but they taste great. And you don't need to do a bunch of extra seasoning. <gasps> there are pen pockets I didn't even know about in here. Wait, I didn't even know. Look, there's two little pen loop pockets. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Just always discovering with lug. Okay, let's get this out of here. My laptop, she fits in here beautifully. Even with this guy sticking out, still fits beautifully. This is my little mini pharmacy where I keep most of the Advil and all that kind of stuff in case I don't feel well. Earbuds, and I like to keep them in this little go tub. Then they don't get super tangled and flying everywhere. This is my go folder, which I talk about in this video. This is my current cash envelope system, which again, will be changing very soon. Stay tuned for that. I like to keep that in the innermost pocket. So if someone were to steal my actual wallet from the outside of it, which they probably wouldn't because I keep that, I keep it close. The cash isn't in there, it's in a different spot. Your personal item is the only thing that is guaranteed to be with you the entire time that you travel. Like I said, I put that on top of my rolling carry-on. Sometimes they like to try to take that away from you. So I used to put my laptop in the rolling carry-on and they would say, excuse me, we need to take this because there's no more room in the overhead compartment. So I no longer keep the super valuable things in that because sometimes they have to check it. And then if you have jewelry or your wallet or something in that rolling thing, no bueno. So keep the most important stuff in your personal item and hold it close. Don't let these people try to fool you. And that's it. Stop. Before you go, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. And make sure to ring that bell so that you don't miss any time I post a video. Stay hydrated, sis. Click here for more videos. Click, 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 click. Click, click.